Hey guys, this is Jason Buff from the Indie Film Academy. Today I want to talk about something that I don't ever really see filmmakers or marketing people talking about when it comes to promoting your film. One of the first things that I do whenever I'm starting a new project is, you know, I need to have the title and I need to have that branded in a way that people will start recognizing it. And the most important way to start branding the title of your film is to pick out the right logo, um, not the right logo, sorry, the right font to create your title as kind of the logo for your film. And the place that I usually go is defont.com. Now, defont is a great place to go because you can have the option of having all these different styles of fonts, and they also allow you to download a lot of their fonts for free. Now, there's a lot of font resources out there that you have to pay for, but defont is a very quick way that you can brand your film and not have to worry about any copyright. So the first thing I do, let's talk about what I'm doing right now. I just made a short film called Nibble. That's the temporary name right now. If I think of something better, I will change it. But uh, I really like Nibble, even though there was another uh, short horror film called Nibble. It was actually called Nibble Nibble, but we won't get into that. Um, so the first thing that I would do was look at all the different options I, hear, I have here. So we have fancy, cartoon, comic, groovy, old school, curly, western, eroded, fire, ice, blah, blah, blah. There's a ton. Um, but what I wanted to do is to have something, since Nibble is kind of about somebody slowly being eaten, <laughs> um, I wanted it to be kind of a creepy font that looks like somebody's kind of writing it with like a, a knife or scratchy, you know, your typical horror font. So what I'm going to do is go over to script, handwritten, and I'm going to click on that. And it's going to give me all these options. And these are all going to be options that look like they were, you know, written by somebody. Um, Cheddar Jack, that's a good one. <laughs> um, so what I want to do is um, over here, this is important. Okay, I'm going to write the name of my title here so we can see that font in action. So I'm going to write Nibble. And I'm also going to make sure that this font is not... Uh, protected. So if you look over here, you see a lot of options that are free for personal use or they're demos or whatever. But what we want to find are fonts that are 100% free. Okay, so let's go over here, more options and 100% free. And I'm going to move this up to 100 so we can see 100 per page. And now we're going to click submit. And we're going to see the name of our title in that font. So we can just scroll through. And like everything with filmmaking or, or artistic or whatever, you just want to try to find something that for whatever reason has kind of a emotional, uh, you know, gives you an emotional response. Okay, so looking through these, none of these are really quite doing anything for me. Um, I kind of like that. I kind of like this. But I just want something that looks a little more rough and a little bit maybe disturbing. So I'll keep going. Okay, here we go. Now this is a font that I had seen before. So nibble like this. I really like this because it just looks like, you know, it's scratched on the uh, surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, make sure it's 100% free. Okay, there we go. Download. I'm going to hit download. And I'm using Windows and Google Chrome. So this will vary for different platforms, obviously. So I'm going to click on that. And now my window is going to come up. And I'm just going to, you have um, true type fonts and you have um, open type fonts. So I'm not remembering right now, but you can use these for Macs or for uh, Windows. So I'm just going to double click on this. And it's going to ask, it's going to show me the font first of all. And it's got, it's got uh, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, which is uh, a sentence that has every single letter in it and then all their numbers. Now I'm going to click install. I already have this installed, but I'll just click it just so you see. Okay, it's already installed, so no, stop. Okay, now I'm, I'm working in Photoshop, so um, I'm just going to open that up. I've already kind of put this together. So I'm going to click on Photoshop, and now, you know, when you have your text there, you can see that it appears in your fonts. And that's really it. So you can use, you know, you can find all kinds of different fonts 
to represent your film, but you just need to, one thing that's really important is to try and pick something that you're going to stay with throughout the whole process because the title of your film and the font that you're going to use is going to help people remember your film. And one of the most important things that you need to start trying to do with the promotion, with showing, you know, images from your film, with showing, um, you know, putting things up on your pages, whatever, is that you want to at least create a space in as many people's heads where they remember your film. They recall what it is and kind of what it's about. Because later on, much later on, when you're finished, when you come back, you're going to be able to show them, hey, the film is finally ready. And they've got, people have so many different movies and things and shows and everything. We're bombarded by so much every day that it's important that you try to carve out a little space for yourself where people are going to recall your title and recall your, you know, kind of what it's about in the trailer and things like that. The more you can do that, the more effective your film is going to be in the long run. So anyway, that is it for today, and uh, thanks, you guys, for watching. Don't forget to go to IndieFilmAcademy.com uh, and subscribe, and also go to uh, IndieFilmPodcast.com and listen to all of our interviews with filmmakers, directors, screenwriters, and everything else. All right, see you next time.